Hello and welcome to another Tuesday episode of Drink and Sew Things with me, your host. Today we are going to be making a hooded towel. I know that I've made a hooded towel already, uh, but this is going to be like quick, easy. You just want to knock this sucker out. It's also going to be a little bit bigger. So as my daughter is growing, this towel she has already fits her fine, but I want to make one that's just a little bit bigger. So this will fit older kids, older toddlers better than my original towel, which I will also link over here. If you are a returning subscriber, hello, hello, hello. It's nice to see you again. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Nikita and welcome to my channel where this is what I do. I drink and I sew things. Today I'm actually just drinking an iced coffee, some almond milk creamer because I can't have dairy. Sad. I made this iced coffee by making a regular coffee and putting it in the fridge and then adding ice to it. <laughs> I know, I'm real fancy, real fancy. That's me, fancy fancy. So I want this to be a quick video, so let's just get right into it. As for supplies, you are going to need a towel I would get a bath sheet if you want this to be like real big, like really comfy and you know fits like a larger child. Get a bath sheet, which you can buy for like $10 at Target. I got just a regular bath towel. In hindsight, I probably should have gotten a bath sheet. You're also going to need one hand towel. In addition, you're going to need a measuring implement of some kind. I like one that's a straight edge. I'll link this in the description. You are also going to want pins. You can also use fabric clips, but for one section of this, we do actually need to use pins. We can't really use fabric clips. I would use a rotary cutter if I was you. So much easier. But you can also use fabric scissors. And that's it, guys. Let's get to it. All right, Chiquitita. Let's start with our hand towel. We're going to start on one edge and we're going to cut off six inches of that. I'm going to cut off the side that has the tag. This will make a little bit of a mess, so just be aware of that. Now we're going to flip it to the other side. Now this side, we are going to fold down and I'm going to fold it until, see this other like secondary pattern here? I'm folding it until that which ends up being two inches. So fold it down two inches, and then we're going to pin this in place. Now that it's pinned in place, we are going to take it to our sewing machine. We're gonna sew a straight stitch right along here. I'm gonna sew just on the inside of this thicker finished edge of the fabric. Be aware, you will be able to see the thread and bobbin color of this, so make sure that you have a matching one. Before we start to sew, make sure that your drink is by your sewing machine. Uh, man, why is iced coffee so good? Terry cloth, which is what uh, towels are made of, can be a little bit thick and harder to sew through, so especially at the edges, just make sure you go a little bit slower and you might have to kind of help push your fabric through. So just gonna sew a straight stitch right here along the edge of this finished edge. Don't forget to backstitch. As you get to the edge, I am going to have to kind of push this folded corner because it's really thick through. I'm just gonna go slow. As I approach the end, I'm gonna backstitch. That is what holds our seam in place and then forward stitch again. All right, let's cut our threads. Now this is a very important step. Uh, don't forget to remove your pins. <laughs> and now we have this cute little finished edge to our hood. So this is the side that we sewed. I want you to flip to this side, the nicer side, it's gonna be the outside. So we're gonna take this cut edge and we are going to fold it so that it meets together like this and the hood, this is the hood of the towel, is right sides together. So the side that we sewed should be facing out towards you. So then we're just going to come take this over to our machine and uh, you can pin this um, to hold it together, but because I'm here, I'm just going to slide it under and just hold it together is what I'm doing. And we are going to use a straight stitch 
sewing along the cut edge with a half inch seam allowance. And now let's take it back to our cutting table so that we can pin it to our towel. Let's stop and enjoy our beverage, whatever it may be. And then let's take our hood and I'm going to use my finger to turn it right side out and then poke out that corner. Cool beans. I know that it looks really big, but on a bath sheet, it won't look so weird. All right, now I want you to take your towel and you are going to fold it in half. Okay, so this is like, if you're holding it lengthwise, long ways, you're gonna fold it in half. These two thick finished edges are the ones that are meeting together. And then I'm going to put a pin in place where my middle is, because we're going to need to match the middle of this to the middle of our hood. Now I want you to take your towel and it is right side facing up. I know that this is the right side because the other side has the tag. So right side facing up, here is my pin to mark my middle. Now I'm going to take my hood and I'm going to flip it so that it is upside down, okay? So the opening is here. I am going to line up the middle, which is where that seam is, and I'm going to lay it right against where that pin is in the middle here. The edge that we sewed to make that like nice little like front part of the hood is here on my left hand side. I guess it doesn't particularly matter, but that's how I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna fold back the top layer, match up the edges of the bottom layer, and then I'm going to pin that in place. And then I'm going to remove this pin in the middle here. Now I'm gonna take my towel and I'm going to fold it in half again. So now this side of my hood is going to get pinned. So I'm just lining up the edges of the second side of the hood to the second side of the towel. I'm only pinning through two layers. Now if I were to unfold it, this is what it kind of looks like. Now what we're going to do is take this to our sewing machine and we are going to sew the hood onto the towel and then we're done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Take a drink to celebrate our inevitable success. All right, let's go sew the sucker together. I always like to have my drink on one side of my sewing machine and my pins on the other. So I have a place to put my pins and of course the place for my drink. Okay, now we're sewing along these two edges here where we pinned. So I'm starting on the, this is the edge of the hood here, the part where we sewed before. I'm gonna just sneak it under my presser foot. I am lining up the edges to the edge of my presser foot here. Make sure that you forward and back stitch at the beginning. And now that we're sewing through multiple layers of towel, especially right here where it's this folded two layers plus another, and we have this little like clumpy finished edge thing right here, make sure that you go slow over that part so that you don't break a needle. When you get to the end, make sure you back stitch and then forward stitch. We're only sewing to the edge of the hood. You don't have to sew the rest of the way down. Then clip your threads and you're done. Pretty cool when you accidentally use your booty to knock down all your stuff while you're sewing. <laughs> After you've got everything sewn, double check that you actually clipped all your threads. So once we've got it all sewn, we're just gonna Pull it right side out. Missed a thread. And here you go. It's not a giant hood. It's not just great. It makes me feel like dark Sidious. Something, something, dark side. Something, something, complete. I promise that this giant hood looks way less stupid on a bath sheet instead of this bath towel. <laughs> Either a bath sheet or a beach towel. And those, oh my gosh, make the best towels, right? Because you can like wrap yourself up in them. Babies all wrapped up in these with the cutest. So anyway, there you go. There is your lovely, very quick hooded towel. I hope that you had fun sewing with me today. I hope 
to see you on a future Drink and Sew Things video. So uh, in the meantime, if you want to stick around, then you can uh, drink along and sew along with me on my next video. Thanks for watching. for adults. You don't have to comment that I'm a ridiculous person. I am.